sitting with my niece uh, and my, my sister, my niece and my mom. And I showed this image that people like to share. It's three people standing up by a baseball uh, a fence. And you, there's, a base, there's a baseball game. There's a really short person who can't see. There's a medium-sized person who can see a little bit and a very tall person who just stands right up above the fence. It says, this is equality. Each of them gets one crate. Well, one crate isn't enough for the short guy and the two guys can already see. It says, this is equity. And it shows the short guy getting, you know, three crates so they can all see now. And I said, the problem is when it comes to someone's height, sure, we can understand. Let's, let's, let's give the, the crates to the short guy so he can see along with us. But how do you determine equity based on the color of someone's skin or their, you know, like uh, characteristics that can't necessarily be quantified, right? So when Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez pushes a bill forward that's purporting to be about the environment, but includes racial equity clauses, are we to assume that her ideology states that if you are not white, you are poor by death, like it's a guarantee? Or do we have to assume that each individual has different advantages, different cards to play, and some are born wealthy, some aren't? And yes, there's historic racism, but we can't make those assumptions, right? Right. So this is, this is to me one of the biggest problems I've been having as like a lifelong left-leaning individual is who do I vote for? Right. I was a big fan of Bernie Sanders for a while, but then Bernie Sanders gets up on stage at the debates and says, white people don't know what it's like to be poor. Well, well that, that's hilarious. That is yeah. hilarious. Get, go to fucking West Virginia and visit the coal miners. Right. And, you know, what's really weird, I saw one of Bernie's tweets that I looked at and I said, oh, come on, man. You know this is fucked up. Yeah. He was talking about how much more money white men make than black women, mm -hmm. than Latino men, than all these different things. And what he didn't include was Asian men. Well, but because well, Asian right. men make more money. But here's what I think a lot of people on the right miss. He said, pay equity, not pay equality. Okay. I think perhaps we should stop assuming they don't know what they're saying because a lot of people assume what they're saying is, you know, the, the gender cap, the, the gender earnings gap is, is real, but the gender pay gap, it, you know, it's not, um, the, the, if a man and a woman are both offered the exact same job exact same experience in education, women tend to get, I think it's like three to 5% less. And many people believe that's because they, they're less likely to negotiate, which is why you have like lean in, tell women to be more, you know, trying to be more assertive. Um, but it's not this 77% number that's, but there is an earnings gap, right? The median salaries of men and women are different. So when Bernie says white men make X more than these other demographics, he said in his tweet, pay equity, not equality. He doesn't want fair pay for everyone based on job. He's actually saying it doesn't matter what job you have. Everyone should be paid the same. Yeah, that's nonsense. 